Hello everyone, welcome to Business Core Tutoring. I'm Devin Coombs and today I'm going to be covering question 15 in our statistics series. Let's begin. You are conducting a one-sided test of a null hypothesis that the population mean is 532 versus the alternative that the population mean is less than 532. So this is going to be a left tail test, right? Less than. If the sample mean is 529 and the p-value is 0 0.01, so 1% p-value, which of the following statements is true? There is a point, so there's a 1% probability that the population mean is smaller than 529. The probability of observing a sample mean smaller than 529 when the population mean is 532 is 1%. There's a 1% probability that the population mean is smaller than 532. If the significance level is 0 0.05, then you will accept the null hypothesis. So I'm gonna work backwards here, and then we'll find the correct answer. But if we lay everything out, we know D is false, right? We would reject the null hypothesis because if the significance level was 5%, uh, then we would reject it because the p-value is 1%. So the, since the significance is greater than the p-value, we reject the null hypothesis. So D is not correct. There is a 1% probability that the population mean is smaller than 532. Uh, this is, has nothing to do with this information at all. Uh, this is about rejecting and accepting uh, the hypothesis, and it's about the sample. So, wait, we're not talking about the population, even though we would make uh, inferences about the population. So C is not true. Uh, there is a 1% probability that the population mean is smaller than 529. Uh, we're getting closer, but we're not talking about the population. We're talking about the sample. So, and then we're making uh, assumptions and inferences off of the sample to the population. So A is not correct. We can see that B is correct because we're pulling uh, both the sample and the population. So the probability of observing a sample means smaller than 529 when the population mean is 532, which is what we have set up in this situation, so this is a good start, is 1%. That's exactly what we're saying with this statement. So in this, we are saying that the probability of an obs let me put it in red, the probability of the probability of observing a sample mean smaller than 529 when the population mean is 532 is 1%. So practice this, study this, get that this is what we're saying by putting a p-value and having a sample mean. If you have any questions regarding uh, this lecture, please write in the comments below or on my Twitter. Uh, if you like watching this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will be making a lot more videos regarding accounting, uh, more statistics, business economics, business law, and lowering college debt. So I'm always making videos. If you want me to make a video on a specific subject, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to do so. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.